Hi, welcome to this head-to-head -head comparison between the Meyer Capital's Vaishnavi Tech Park fractional ownership opportunity versus the Strata KT office fractional ownership opportunity, both of which are based out of Bangalore. Hi, this is Racha from Invest in Prelis, where we help you profit from curated proposals. As you are aware, we evaluate all fractional ownership opportunities on a scale of one to 10. And I'm gonna take you through a quick head-to-head -head comparison between the two opportunities that are currently live. So in terms of 10, the Strata KT office opportunity uh, has a tenant who is an international sportswear brand and uh, it's an MNC uh, and therefore it gets a one-on-one. -on -one. Meyer Capital so tenant in this case is Smartworks. Again, a very robust brand. They've grown three times uh, in the last uh, couple of years, in the last two years rather during COVID. And to get complete details, uh, more details about these tenants, I would request you to share, uh, look at our detailed analysis of that particular opportunity, the links for which are given uh, in uh, the description below. So tenant industry outlook sportswear brand again looks good 0 0.5 on 0 0.5. Smartworks uh, shared office spaces, uh, managed offices space office spaces again looks very good so 0 0.5 on 0 0.5 there. In terms of tenant stickiness, both of these guys have more, lower than market rentals. Uh, Strata is at 52.2 uh, and uh, Meyer Capital is at 60. Whereas the average is about 60 to 70, 75 rupees and therefore both of them get 0 0.5 on 0 0.5. Asset grade, both are state-of-the-art uh, new developments and therefore both of them get one-on-one. -on -one. Asset location, very close to the outer ring road and an upcoming hub for businesses with uh, significant residential uh, also in and around the location. Plus infrastructure in terms of the metro, both of them have a metro coming up very close by. And therefore, from an asset location perspective, both of them get one-on-one. -on -one. The lock-in uh, strata has got a lock-in of, currently the pending lock-in is about four years and three months, and Meyer Capital's lock-in is five years. Uh, but since our ideal or optimal is three years plus, both of them get 0.5 on 0.5. Uh, now here is where there is a slight difference that uh, comes in. The tenant agreement hasn't been signed or uh, it's only the LOI. So at this point in time, Strata's agreement has been signed and registered. Meyer Capital's uh, agreement is going to be signed. The lease is going to be signed in uh, the next few days. And therefore, currently we're taking away uh, 0.5 there. As soon as uh, the lease agreement is signed, we will upgrade our rating. In terms of duration, the ideal situation is five years plus. Strata is 15, which is good and uh, Meyer Capital is nine, which is also good. In terms of increment, both of them have a standard 15% after three years. So both of them get a 0.5 on 0.5. Rent start date, Strata uh, rent will start in April and Meyer Capitals will start in August, 2022. And therefore the slight difference there, uh, we've taken away 0.5 there from Meyer Capital's uh, tally. In terms of deposit, uh, six months is ideal. Strata gets us uh, six months, so 0 0.5 on 0.5 there. With Meyer Capital, uh, we've got a five-month deposit, so we've taken away one point, so it gets 0 0.4 on 0.5. In terms of the rental yield, both are less than 8%, which is what we think is ideal because investors uh, are, are expecting at least an 8% uh, net and we are talking about net we are not talking about gross so uh, in strata is about 7.8 and my capital is about 7.7 ish so in terms of capital appreciation we while both these uh, companies or asset managers rather do expect a significant capital appreciation between anything from you know seven percent to nine percent we are very conservative and we request all our investors to look at it from a perspective of, let's say two to 3% uh, appreciation. And of course, if there is a higher appreciation, uh, it's always welcome. So from that perspective, uh, you know, uh, we're conservative and this is 
therefore we are giving it uh, 0.25 for strata on 5 and Meyer capital is 0.5 on 0.5. In terms of the exit options and exit load or hurdle rate, uh, the exit options for fractional ownership as uh, the entire category remains the same. Currently, we have to rely back on the asset manager uh, to get us an exit for the entire asset. That's number one. Number two, you can individually sell your shares by going back to the asset manager. And third, of course, you can share it privately. So these are the three options. But uh, because the entire ecosystem is not developed, and when we are saying the entire ecosystem is not developed enough, we expect that uh, the, the situation to, in a way that uh, you know, you're able to kind of go to any sort of a portal where you can say that, okay, I want to sell my shares and you should be able to sell it in maybe a couple of days. So that's our ideal scenario. So this is not something that's got to do specifically with Strata or Meyer Capital. It's generally uh, for the category. In terms of the exit load and hurdle rate, uh, both of them have performance fees. And because the exit options are underdeveloped, so we give both of them zero currently on 0.5. In terms of the asset manager, uh, we in terms of the asset manager, both of them are uh, pretty robust. Uh, Strata has already got a backing from Elevation Capital, Kotak, uh, Gruhas, uh, and Meyer Capital. Uh, yeah, Meyer Capital's parent company is somebody called Morphogenesis. They are one of India's leading architectural firms. For, and both of them have you know, more than 200 crores of uh, asset under management. And uh, this is not their first asset. Uh, they've already done close to about five to seven assets, both of them. And therefore, uh, even as we, uh, you know, the credibility of both the founders is very strong and robust, and therefore we give it 0.5 on 0.5 for both of them. And in terms of remarks, uh, you know, we feel both these opportunities are good. Of course, the final tally for Strata is nine on 10, and Meyer Capitals is 8.15 on 10. And once the lease agreement for Meyer Capital is done, the uh, rating will upgrade to 8.65. So what does that mean? The summary is that, uh, yes, Strata has got a better rating. So does that mean that you should not invest in Meyer Capital? No, both these opportunities are excellent. And we would uh, think that both of them definitely are worth investing in. But it will depend on your criteria. Now, what is your criteria? For that, you need to call us. We'll understand what is your uh, time horizon in terms of you know, the investment, etc., And then we will accordingly guide you as to uh, which one you should invest in right now. And with that, uh, you know, our numbers are on the screen. If you like this video, please subscribe to it and uh, please share it with your friends that you think might uh, benefit from something like this. And uh, that's it from us. This is Raj Shah from Invest in Release, where we help you profit from curated proposals. Thank you.